Hello everyone, it's Rad and uh, welcome to my channel. So uh, this is going to be a, a tarot reading for Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising. The week uh, is going to be uh, February 4th to February 10th, 2019. And uh, now I'm going to shuffle the cards and then we go to the spread. Now while I am shuffling the, uh, the cards, want to remind you once again that that is going to be a, a general reading for the Virgo star sign and for that reason is going to resonate differently with uh, every different Virgo. Now, if you want a personal reading uh, where we're going to focus on your personal situation, uh, you can go to my uh, website, uh, which is listed uh, down below in the, uh, in the description of this video and uh, there you're going to find, you know, full list of my services as well as uh, their pricing. So that being said, guys, that set aside, uh, I'm going to use the uh, standard uh, reader white tarot deck. So to cut the cards and uh, the first one that you do have, that is going to be the Ten of Swords, which is the topic uh, of your week followed by the second card that is going to be the page of swords which is going to be the things which are going to slow down your your growth or the bad things you, the bad things for yourself you can do throughout the week the third card this is going to be the positive aspect or the good things you can do for yourself things which are to speed up your growth that is going to be the two of wands and the last one which is the final outcome should you follow the guidance here from these couple of cards that is going to be the uh, the hermit card <clears throat> and uh, a sorrow gives guidance you know and if you follow that guidance then the final card is always a, a card of growth so i will lay down my cards here on uh, on my table and uh, we are going to go through them one by one but just to give you the overview it seems that uh, something is going to make you snap out and uh, that will be the final the, the, the final draw is kind of is going to be the piece uh, the, the 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 cake or i don't know for example um, you know you keep up tolerating one person and they do something really stupid and that will be basically you are going to say you know man you know you did this and this but that what you did really takes the cake you know and uh, Oh, oh, and your attitude from there is going to completely shift. So <clears throat> that is well described here with the Ten of Swords, uh, which is uh, the very first card and that will be the topic of your week. So what the Ten of Swords really tells you is that uh, this week is going to be a, a point of no return. It's going to be a point where something drastically changed. You change towards something drastically uh, that is because uh, you will have to take some uh, very important uh, uh, decisive actions and decisive measures toward uh, a person or toward the situation in your life as well which decision or an action or maybe both as well are going to provoke kind of like a new era in your life now if you can see here if you take yourself being the stab person you know which is laying down kind of like helpless here on the beach and uh, the swords are a representative of the truth and the truth that you find out for yourself for example finding out that you have been cheated for example finding out that your co-worker that does less job than you is getting paid better than you are and etc etc and that circumstances that circumstance excuse me provoke you to take those drastic measures in order to provoke new era in your life that is described here by the dawn that comes after the skies darken all right so these actions or that this uh cornering because you're going to be cornered against uh, with your back against the wall is only going to uh, contribute for your growth and from your for your for development unfortunately with the ten of swords some things in your life simply has to go people situations habits something that it is kind of like uh, making you being in this uh, in this despondent and highly highly unfavorable 
position. As well, the Ten of Swords as a topic, it plays a one more very, very positive role. And uh, it says that uh, basically you, you, you kind of hit the rock bottom. It cannot get any worse than that, you know. So whatever action you, you make, I the only thing that is going to do is uh, making you climb uh, your way up from this rock bottom. Only the inaction, it is the thing that will keep you stuck into this situation that you are finding yourself right now bad and unfavorable so when we uh so for you virgos um when you walk in that week february 4th think about where your life rocks where your life isn't really going well where your life it's kind of like down in the sinks, and it is where the ten of swords is going to manifest itself it will be a, a prerequisite it will be a circumstance that is going to simply make you not tolerate this situation any longer and do what is necessary to provoke this new era in your life and with the Eight of Swords, that is kind of like the determination, the narrow, uh, the narrow mind that you are going to adopt, that something has to change, either into your relationship or either into your career. Things cannot sit in that way because you are plummeting more and more if you leave those, um, those circumstances unattended and waiting for help really isn't an option because in this in this uh, particular situation uh, you are the only one who can help yourself okay so uh, again uh, depriving yourself from acting it is the only thing that can really uh, slow you down and uh, just to repeat myself here guys uh, as soon as you cannot stand it any longer uh, you gotta make uh, you gotta make your move. Of course, as I said, some things has to go. Uh, despite of how difficult that could be, you know, relationships or career paths or even friends and so on and so forth. But that will be necessary to provoke the dawn, as displayed in the card, to um, embark a new era in your life, which is going to be toward the positive end. Important another thing is that you should not struggle against the development. All right. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I just had a message. So you should not uh, uh, struggle against the development and you should not try to avoid the, um, the unfoldment of the situation as it is presented. So the next card here, uh, this is going to be the Page of Swords, uh, which is the things that you should not do. Uh, and the things that you should not rely on in the Page of Swords does display your agile mind, all right? And the, the sense that you can outsmart the situation. Worst thing you can try to do, to outsmart the situation, to think that, to think, excuse me, that your sophisticated plans and your calculations at the end are going to cheat, faith are going to cheat um, the universe. You cannot fight faith, all right? And uh, you got to accept it as well. The Page of Swords here urges you not to seek uh, fellowship or you should not be a follower, all right? You should follow only your own, uh, your own aims and your own goals. On top of that, the Page of Swords asks you to seek um, peace uh, in this position, I mean asks you to seek peace, not to get into wrangles, not to get into confrontations. You, for example, uh, you know, this circumstance happened, which you snap out and you are determined not to endure this any longer. Okay, but you don't have to do it uh, in a warmongering way, all right? You don't have to storm the situation. You can simply either walk away or you can simply stop contributing, you know, or you can simply diverse uh, your... Um, diverge excuse me uh, your efforts into another goal and so on and so forth it's just you should not make it a big uh, you should not escalate the uh, the matters that is what i'm trying to say and the last thing the page of thoughts here saying is that you should not rely on anybody but yourself if you uh, receive help that's awesome okay but if you don't you shouldn't kind of like restrict yourself that 
you aren't going to do anything unless someone helps you. I mean, you have everything you need, especially with that agile mind of yours and that understanding on the, um, on the facts that surround your situation. So you do have everything you need in order to make progression and to um, force this new era of growth and of, of new beginnings as well uh, in your life. The accompanied card, uh, it is the King of Swords here with the page. So it, uh, uh, it does point that you, gotta, uh, you have to accept yourself. Well, that is difficult to explain really, but you should not think that uh, you can get away with uh, a, a surreptitious things and simply wrong things done, okay? So for example, um, if you have been in that abusive relationship and something happened and that was the the um, uh, the draw, drawing of the lines and you cannot endure it anymore, uh, these cards are just you not to seek retribution or revenge, uh, <clears throat> but leave uh, you know the universe to do its thing and to uh, retribute uh, and to serve retribution uh, from your behalf as well. Uh, also, uh, with the with the King of Swords here, there is nothing more for you to think about, really. Uh, it's kind of like you have all the pros and cons laid, laid down in front of you, all the facts and all the analysis as well. Uh, you know what you need to do. You will know what you need to do. The only thing that can deprive you doing it, it is the uh, attempt of your behalf to make an excuse for yourself not to do it. Which leads us to the uh, next card that is uh, the positive aspect or the positive things you can do throughout this week. And that is the two of wands. So two of wands could play many roles depending on how the, uh, the ten of swords manifest itself. Uh, the two of, of wands may ask you to take a responsibility which is uh, something uh, that kind of ties with uh, the King of Swords and the Page of Swords I talked about. Uh, the, the Two of Swords, uh, the very generic interpretation in this follow-up is that um, much is going to be achieved throughout the week. But that is just going to be a remnant of where you can find yourself at the end. So even if you make a solid progression throughout the week, you should not stop there, all right? You should find out what your exciting abilities are, those abilities that can um, escalate your growth further and further. And those abilities need to be put into test. They need to be uh, well nurtured and maintained and as well improved big time and only through challenge one can improve them however uh, with the two of wands it's more gonna be excuse me guys it's more gonna be like finding a turf where you can find challenges rather than uh, taking on these challenges uh, at, uh, at all throughout this week I mean uh, so with that specific sense the two of wands it kind of like gives you uh, more of a hope that best is yet to come even if at the start of the week that thing happens here, you snap out. And uh, when people snap out, they don't see things in long term, in long, in long perspective. But it, the, the two of wands urges you to do so. And uh, on its own, the card is pointing that you can be, uh, you can be productive, happy and self-realized as well in, in a many places, not just one specific place. And here it is where I'm going to say that uh, uh, if you are meant to be happy, you know, you're going to be with, uh, you, you are going to be happy whom with that is entirely your decision or is going to be a product of your decisions and your actions, all right? Same thing goes with being successful into one career. So basically throughout the week, you will, you may realize that you have made some wrong choices, you know, and uh, you are finding yourself into a, a verge of ending, okay? But the life doesn't stop here, and you have to try in a, a different, um, in a different place, or, or in a different, in a different company with a different person, and so on and so forth. And uh, Another card which support this with the Knight of uh, Wands. So basically, uh, you gotta be very courageous when it comes to um, 
when it comes to defining the new defining your new options available you need to be as well kind of like uh, prone to risk taking either you know making those brave steps outside of your current framework and so on and so forth and uh, as well then the night does point that even if you should not rely on help if someone else asks you for a, a little bit of a helping hand then that is what you gotta do because they will return the favor as i said at the start universe is going to give serve a retribution to you and to others either for good or either for bad as well <clears throat> So uh, that leads us to the final card here, guys, uh, Virgos, which is the final outcome. What is to happen if you follow that guidance the tarot is give you based on the situation unfolding that it is marked with the Ten of Swords? We go to the Hermit card. And so what the Hermit here is uh, saying really is that uh, everything is going to start calming itself down somewhere at the end of the week. And at that point, you will be granted some time off. You will be granted some time to think about it and to contemplate of where you are and what are your options available. And at that time, you gotta be very, you gotta approach the situation, your situation intelligently and with a great portion of wisdom and as well with a great portion of calmness because the, the Hermit card, um, promises you that if you realize uh, your potential, if you realize uh, what kind of brilliant ideas and in, in generally original ideas you do have career or, or relationship wise that is going to truly provoke the uh, the new era or the new substantial uh, path that you are going to take in your life that could be manifested as a new criteria of yourself you know for a relationship and soon after person that much that matches those criteria comes around um, <clears throat> That could be as well, uh, you know, realization that you can be much more, uh, not productive, but skillful in a different field than you're working at right now and, and, and deciding for yourself to take on that path. Basically, the hermit here it does this place that a, a new... Um, a new way will be uh, will be defined for you and it is yours to take should you decide it. However, that is a way that only you can comprehend on and for that reason, you cannot expect that many people are gonna follow you down the road. Also, those who are going to follow you, it's kind of like um, they, these people are doing it out of, um, uh, because they blindly have faith in you. But the hermit is associated with the thing the thing that what it is meant for you, your calling, your reason. So uh, basically that will be a week where uh, some errors you have done in the past, just to uh, finalize all that, uh, some errors are done in the past uh, on your behalf are going to be corrected. And as their correction, you will have the opportunity to this time around be on the right path. And with the nine of wands, also, this uh, calmness or uh, calming the wavering at the end of the uh, at the end of the week will allow you to make the necessary rearrangements of your things, uh, duties, responsibilities, and so on and so forth to um, basically clear yourself a space so you can um, you can or uh, you can take on this uh, on this new direction with organized uh, with organized and consistent uh, fashion. And these changes are going to be conscious changes, which means that you will have full control this time around upon what you want to change in your life, how you want to change it, and when you want to change it as well. But again, very important is to define what is substantial for yourself after this snap out happens, after you, you know, kind of like put an end into, into something that it is uh, noxious to your life and, uh, possibly uh, replace it with uh, this uh, new uh, new goal of yours. So that being said, uh, Virgo, this was your weekly tarot reading for February 4th to February 10th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, uh, this was a general reading uh, for Virgo star sign. And for that reason, uh, it's going to resonate in a different level with um, the different Virgos uh, in this planet. 
But if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot cards, just like I did for the few examples in this video, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.